Okay, so guys, we're getting into it. We're going right straight into this video. I am doing a get to know me. Some of you may already know some things about me. Some of you may have a few ideas and some of you may just be new to the family and I don't know who is this random chick from the States. It's kind of cute. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get into it. So um, just go ahead if you haven't subscribed yet or checked out any of my other videos. Just go ahead and do that and we'll get into the get to know me, right? Okay, so I have my trusty book with me because I didn't want to forget anything and any of the questions that you guys would have asked. So I'm just going to go through the questions and um, hopefully at the end of this video, you feel like if we're a little closer, more connected, you know, the oh, next popular question is, how do I learn to write? I started off from a very young age doing poetry, you know, I can remember it now, actually. Um, the flowers are wonderful, they're so bright and green. Jesus Hey guys, so listen, <laughs> I know you recognize the la last video, I was dressed completely different. What happened is that after I was finished recording everything, I recognized from this point until the end, was wind, storm, rain, <laughs> every possible noise you can think, it was in the video. So I'm just going to do this part over. Right, so where were we? Right. I basically started off small with poetry and then just it escalated and you know what a next thing for anyone interested in writing don't be afraid to ask for help and like just get some feedback criticism guys negative or positive is very helpful there will be some people who might give negative and it might just be kind of like no good in terms of now nah, you should just stop no take take what you need from the criticism and then just keep going so yeah um i don't write all the time but I, I am always writing so i don't write songs all the time but i i do journal and just naturally i write everything down so yeah that's very helpful um in the process yes, right. it's hard. it is hard it is hard so yeah, one of the most pivotal points in my whole experience of writing, when I actually like recognize, hey, you could probably take your poetry, your amateur poetry to be precise, <laughs> and turn it into songs. Um, I had went through a certain experience. Hey, thank God for experiences, heartbreak, pain, suffering. So I went through a certain experience and I sat down, I wrote the longest song, the longest song ever. Um, it was very witty, like I just wrote every, like just all my experiences out um, into this one song. Everything, I just poured it out. I think the name of the song was Not Broken. And I was super excited, I sent it around to a few um, musicians, songwriters, singers, and um, yeah, I got back some feedback. You know, I would say the musicians went a little soft on me. They were like, you know, good job, Shins. The, the phrasing and the structure and this and that. A few singer songwriter individuals was just like, the only thing good in this is, is the hook. Oh. Yeah. That, yeah, it was hard. However, you know, I have a very resilient spirit and when challenged, I accept, I accept and I forge on. So I was just like, okay, not my best. Um, and I attempted to make a go at it again. And then from that point, yeah, I just, now I literally write whatever I am inspired to write by God and I just write based on the circumstances. It doesn't particularly have to be um, just worship or just a certain type of genre. I just write what inspires me and what speaks to me from experience. And that is important for anybody interested in writing. Um, just do what is in your heart, write what is in your heart, start there. Of course you could 
become an expert if you just be consistent at it and stuff I'm super shaky I just kind of go with my inspiration and if I don't have inspiration I don't always write but I do now so yeah <laughs> the last thing how did I know I wanted to become a singer or musician how did I know I wanted to be an artist Right, so I was singing, as I said, since primary school, singing in choirs, groups, everything. Um, and my friend Alden, he was um, a lot more experienced and he, you know, was, he was about singing more than I was. And a few times he would have pulled me in to do, you know, stuff with him and sing and harmonize and stuff. And he said, Shina, you know, you really have like a really unique and a nice voice, like you should be more confident you should do it more because you love you love music I was just like I guess I find I'm kind of basic <laughs> you know that's just the truth sometimes other persons can um, see see in us the things that we are and the things that we could be when other people can't and those persons are persons who would be connecting and really love and care about us they have that in them so shout out to all those people who see things in people and encourage them yeah kept so, encouraging me and we kept doing you know teaming up to sing in groups and little different things um, as well as uh, a guy who I call my music mentor Daryl Daniel he also kept you know like encouraging me and when I would go by him there's this song you guys who know me you know I, I sing all the time what shall I do I used to sing what shall I do like this what shall I do what step should I take what move should I make <laughs> I do not know why I do not know why I was singing what shall I do solo guys but I <laughs> kid you not I would go by Daryl to practice and Daryl would just be like why are you singing all your songs in the low octave take it up so from the what shall I I had to do what shall I do what step should I take what move should I make oh lord what should I do and I was just like can I even sustain this higher note I am not sure however Daryl kept pushing me so you know I had him pushing Alan encouraging as well and then just different other persons in my life would just kind of be like hey Chanel you know you should you should do this you have a gift like it's, it's something that you know I would have been you know writing stuff for the longest while writing songs and I feel like if God is telling me I need to share my message like I'm tired of singing covers covers are great but I'm tired of just singing covers I want to sing like stuff that came from my experiences and um, so began the journey of you know becoming an independent artist and there's so much stuff just that journey on, on itself I'm still on it I'm still learning and growing and trying to be better um, improving I'm still open to criticism and you know still trying to build a team of of like the right people genuine people um, around me but to get into that aspect of it guys whew, that is a whole other story of how that journey itself has been going on or how it began but yeah that is how I knew so when I left school I asked my mom to give me a year for um, a year to try music and if it didn't work out I would go do my masters three years later I am still doing music so <laughs> I don't know what to say guys um, yeah I just I just totally believe this is what I'm called to do and you know that's why my my whole thing is to walk in purpose um, and I'm enjoying each and every moment of the journey and even the, the lows, you know, there are lows, there are high moments, but ultimately I feel like this is the diary of a struggling artist, and, <laughs> but I'm making it through God. Yeah. So yeah, give me some feedback, let me know what more you would like to hear and um, 
we will see each other in the next video ciao guys